Welcome to Extreme Networks. We're very happy to be participating in NFD7 today. My name is John Hanahan. I'm Vice President of Product Management and Product Marketing for Extreme. My goal for the next uh, 10 minutes or so is to give you a brief introduction to the company. A few things have changed over the last handful of months and just want to kind of tee up what that means for our customers and our partners and, and you guys as, as uh, distinguished analysts and bloggers. And uh, we'll go through some of this high level stuff and then get into the meat of the agenda fairly quickly. So as many of you know, Extreme acquired Interesis Networks about uh, four months ago now. We are one company, 1,700 employees or so, 12,000 customers, much larger partner footprint, which we're all very excited about. The, um, the goal of us as an organization is, is to be one. We have moved very quickly to uh, bring the organization sure. together to combine leadership in a way that's meaningful to ultimately bring the best systems and processes and people together uh, in a way that ultimately is going to serve our customers and our partners better. The, um, our new branding identity, as many of you may have seen, is, has been launched. We haven't been able to change the fixed logos yet, but you're already starting to see some of the new logos roll out on our website, which is brand new. Uh, as of a few weeks ago, our new branding uh, identity really is about better connections, better experiences for everyone. What does that mean? We believe that, that really our goal as an organization should be to provide uh, our customers and end users uh, the ability to use the equipment seamlessly, manage the equipment very easily, be very easy to do business with as an organization. We'll talk about some of the things that we're doing a little bit differently to help uh, make that happen. Our guiding principles are really around the products, uh, our service, and ultimately our culture and, and, and what that means to you know, our customers and partners doing business with us, and I'll talk a little bit about that. From a product standpoint, we're a fairly focused organization. We're really focused on producing world-class switching uh, and routing products uh, for the campus, for the data center, some high-performance compute. Wi-Fi and mobility is also very important to us. And then bringing it all together with software, uh, which we're going to talk a lot about today, both from a management standpoint, security, and analytics. We have a very, um, very strong organizational structure that's going to support this. There's one VP of product management, that's me. There's one uh, uh, head of engineering, that's Dave Schendel. We've got a, um, a, a way of making decisions that ultimately enables us to bring together solutions that, uh, that, that allow us to uh, provide a whole lot better experience for our customers. These products are intended to work well together. Uh, it doesn't take uh, a half a dozen business units and, uh, and GMs, general managers, to decide that they like an idea before we go implement it. We think that something's right, we're going to implement it across the hardware, software, uh, and, and, and so forth. Marcus Nispel, our solutions architect here, you guys will have a chance to uh, hear from him shortly. He's in charge of making sure that the partnerships that we create also allow for that seamless experience. So we believe that that uh, is, is, is something that, that helps uh, differentiate us. The other thing that's different is our services organization. We, uh, we, we've implemented a service model that really is uh, award-winning and, and, and it's fully in-sourced, which is interesting. You know, if you think about how some of the other vendors do support, you've got to talk to the frontline contact center, maybe you get kicked over to the entitlement organization, then you get to level one, level two, and by the fifth stop, you might get to an employee of the organization. Our call center goes straight to the engineering guy. He picks up the phone and starts helping you right away. Completely different. Um, and as of a few weeks ago, the, uh, the last remaining outsourced component as a part of the Legacy Extreme organization was, um, was insourced. So we're 100% insourced at this point. Uh, I think that's a pretty, pretty neat thing to be able to do in, in a handful of months. So that's another thing that we think is different about us. We're able to execute very quickly. The products that you're about to see today uh, is our first jointly launched uh, product set from the organization. It's fully rebranded. In addition to all the cool technology you're about to see, we're also going to be providing network management for all the uh, Exos-based platforms, Summit, Black Diamond, etc. NetSite uh, and the uh, One Fabric Control Center came from the Interis side of the house. Mm -hmm. And very quickly, we've been able to enable config management, uh, the uh, inventory management, and some of the other basic features that customers would have been uh, doing in, in the alternative uh, platform 
And we're now enabling that so that we can do a smooth transition and, and customers can manage a mixed infrastructure very seamlessly from a single platform. One of the things that we're very focused on is ensuring that our customers are getting the value out of the network. We believe the network is a strategic business asset. We think it's incredibly important. You may have heard that obviously before, but what we're trying to do is really instrument a really strong visibility and control mechanism within the network so that you have a really strong idea of what's happening there and how to use that data and start to use it for more than just application performance network management, but start to use it for business value as well. And we're going to get into that in a lot more detail. We think that by having stronger visibility to applications pervasively throughout the network gives you an idea of how your end customers are using it, how, you're, how um, our, uh, our customers' customers are using their own network. And that provides a lot of interesting uh, different uh, pieces of information that, that is, is quite compelling. And we'll start to get into this as we start to talk about purview. As we, you look at the network traffic patterns and you start to analyze that, you get the application use data pulling that together and presenting it in meaningful ways. Not only does it help from a troubleshooting standpoint, uh, application management standpoint, be able to, to make sure that your, your, uh, your, your server uh, virtualization strategies are aligned with physical infrastructure, not creating uh, bottlenecks unwittingly. Those types of things are, are natural use cases, but what we're trying to do is also extend that to business uses. And perfect example is with the NFL and what we're able to do at the Super Bowl. One of the reasons why the NFL was interested in our technology is because it gave them a completely uh, differentiated view of their customer. It helps them understand their, their fan base better and in new ways than they ever had before. Uh, we like to think of it as, as a Nielsen rating system for the digital age. This helps you understand who's attending your games, how are they, how are they uh, using the network within there, what are they doing, where are they going, are they using NFL.com resources, are they using CNN, SI, are they using ESPN, are they shopping, who are they shopping with, are they, uh, are, you can aggregate this data in very meaningful ways in which uh, the NFL can then use to provide a better product at the end of the day. And, and we think that's pretty cool. So why extreme networks? Uh, we take the best care of our customers, we're building the best products, and ultimately we're gonna be easier to do business with. There's a lot of value in, in being a, a smaller guy and we can pay more attention to our customers in a different manner.